student. Hello, grade one. How do you feel today? I wish that you all feeling good. I am teacher Hala Shidi, and today we are going to learn something very nice on unit number six, which is, will be about clothes. Let's start by telling you what you will be able to learn by the end of this lesson. Together, inshallah, we will follow orders like stand up and sit down. Then we will identify names of items of clothing. Then we will have identify names of colors. Let's start first by looking at your class book on page number 52. Here you can see in the top the title of the unit. The title of unit 6 is clothes. Clothes mean what you usually wear. Now in this unit, you are going to learn about clothes, the name of clothes that you are wearing. And as you know, they are a different of clothes that people are wearing. Depends on their nationality and also on their gender. So whether they are boys or girls, they have different clothes to wear. If they are male or female, also they have different clothes to wear. Let's start first by look on your class book on page 52. Here you are going to learn some of your physical response. As you can see, your friends in this page are doing some kind of physical activities. You can see here, Sammy, Paul, Maha, Vicky. All of your friends are going to do kind of physical activities. Let's see what they are doing. First, look at Sammy. Look at him. He is wearing a white dish dasha and he is standing up. So what Sammy is doing, stand up, stand up. He is standing up, stand up, stand up. Can you please, my friends, stand up? I want all of you there to stand up. Stand up. Excellent. Very good. Now look to the second picture for Sammy. What Sammy is doing there? You can see he is below, below, there is down, down in this picture. He is touching something white. Touch. Your teacher now is touching something white. Touch. Touch. Touch something white. So as you can see, Sammy is touching something white, which is the football. The football got something white. So Sammy is touching something white. So what the, what the two things that Sammy is doing? The first thing, he is standing up, stand up. And the second thing he is doing is touch. Touch, touching something white. Stand up and touch something white. I want you also there, try to look around you, find something white and touch it. Touch something white. Can you do that? You can touch your, your dishdasha. Very good, excellent students. Touch your abaya. All of the boys are going to touch, sorry, they are going to touch their dishdasha. The color of your dishdasha is white. Touch something white. Very good. So stand up and touch something white. Now let's see Paul. What Paul is doing? He is turning around, turning around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Can you please turn around? I want you to turn around three times. Can you please do that? Turn around, turn around, turn around. You can stop now. Very good student. So Paul in that picture, he is turning around, turning around. Now, in the second picture for Paul, what he's doing, he is 
sitting down, sit down, sit down. Can you please sit down? Before I told you that Sammy asking you to stand up. Now your friend Paul ask you to sit down, sit down. Very good, excellent. So the two things that Paul is doing is turn around, sit down, turn around, sit down. Excellent, you've done a great job. Let's move now to the other two girls, which is the first one is Maha. Look at Maha, what she's doing. Can you please tell me what she's doing? She is touching, yes, what she is touching? Touching the ground. She's touch the ground. Touch the ground, the floor, you can touch the floor. Touch the ground, touch the ground. Touch the ground. As you can see, Maha is touching the ground. Touch. Touch. Touch the ground. Now, the second thing that Maha is doing is, can you look at her? What she is doing, she is very good. Stand on her left leg. Left leg. So, we have right hand and the left hand. Right leg and le left leg. Ma is standing on her left leg. Look at her. She is standing on her left leg. Very good job she done that. Can you please do that like Ma? I want you right now to stand on your left leg. Stand on your left leg. Very good, excellent student, you've done a great job. Now what Maha is doing, she do two things. The first one is touch the ground, touch the ground. And the second thing she is doing is stand on her left leg, left leg. Let's see what her friend is doing. She is Vicky. What she is doing, the first thing she is doing is Point two, point two. To point to something, you have to raise your finger and point two. Your eyes must be, look at that thing. So what Vicky is doing, point to the window. And I have a window there, so I will point to the window. Point to the window. So you can see Vicky raise up her finger and look to the window and she is pointing to the window. Point, point two, point two, point to the window. I want you there at home or even if you are in a school to stand up and point to the window. Point to the window. Can you do that for me? Very good, excellent, stand up. Point to the window. Point to the window. Excellent student. You've done a great job. Let's see what's the second thing that Vicky is doing. She is standing on her right leg. Right leg. As I told you before, we have right hand, left hand. Right leg, left leg. Now Vicky is standing on her right leg, right leg. Look at her, she is standing on her right leg. Can you please do like Vicky? I want you to stand up. Try to stand on your right leg, right leg. Very good, excellent. You've done perfect job. So the two things that Vicky is do, doing is point to the window, point to the window, and the second thing is stand on her right leg. Stand on her right leg. Now, my students, we are going to listen to the, to the rhyme, and I want you 
to look to your friend while you are listening to the rhyme. Are you ready? Let's listen. There we are. Unit 6. Song 6.1. The Action Rhyme. Stand up and turn around. Point to the window, then touch the ground. Stand on your left leg, stand on your right. Now sit down and touch something white. So you are going to listen again. Stand up and turn around. Point to the window, then touch the ground. Stand on your left leg, stand on your right. Now sit down and touch something white. So, my lovely students, now I am going to tell you some of these actions and I want you to do it. Are you ready? Let's start. The first thing I want you to do is to, let me just put the circle for you to help you to know where we are. Let's start from the beginning. I want you to stand up. Can you please stand up? Stand up. Very good. This time I want you to sit down. Sit down. Very good. So stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Now I give you two another act action to do it. Point to the window. Can you do that? Point to the window. I will help you. Point to the window. Excellent. You have to put your eyes on the window and don't forget to show your finger. Point to the window. Point to the window. I want you now try to find something white color and touch it. Touch something white. Touch something white. And I'm going to touch my laptop. Touch something white. Try to find. The room you are sitting on, try to find something white and touch it. Touch something white. Very good. Excellent. Now I want you to turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Don't stop until I'm telling you to stop. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. You can stop now. Very good. Turn around again. Well done. Turn around. Stop. Very good. Turn around. And the last thing I want you to do is Touch the ground. Touch the ground. You can touch the floor behind, under you. Touch the ground. Touch the ground. Excellent, my student. You've done a great job. Now, I want you to go back to your class book on page number 52. And this time, hold your pencil. You are going to listen and write the number close to your friend that they do the action. Can you do that? Open your class book and get ready. You are going to listen this time and write the number close to the picture. Let's listen again. Unit 6. Song 6.1. The Action Rhyme. Stand up and turn around. Point to the window, then touch the ground. Stand on your left leg, stand on your right. Now sit down and touch something white. Stand up and turn around. Point to the window, touch the ground. Stand on your left leg. Stand on your right. Now sit down and touch something white. Very good. I hope you finish writing the number 
next to the picture. Now, can you please tell me what is in picture number four? What's in picture number four? Who is that? Maha, excellent, that's Maha. And what Maha is doing? She is very good. Touch the ground, well done. Touch the ground. Now I will ask you, who is in picture number six? Can you please look at picture number six? Who is that? Who is in number six that? Vicky, very good. What Vicky is doing? What she is doing, look at her. What she is doing, she is standing on her right leg. Very good. She is standing on her right leg. Now I want you to look to number seven. Who is that in number seven? He is very good. That is Paul. Very good. What Paul is doing? Very good. Sit down. Sit down. Excellent. And can you please tell me who is in number one? I want to hear your answer. Excellent. That is very good. Sammy in that picture. Sammy. And what Sammy is doing? He is standing up. Stand up, stand up, excellent. You've done a great job, my lovely students. Let's move on and this time we are going to have the name of colors, name of colors. Do you remember any name of colors that we have it in semester number one? Can you please tell me the colors? What are the names of colors? Red, I can hear a good answer. Red, very good. What else? Blue, very good. Blue, very good. What? Green, very good. Excellent, green. Now, let's do a quick revision on name of colors. Look at this fruit here. What's the color of the blueberry? What's the color of the blueberry? Can you please tell me? It's not a green, it's a very good, very good blue, blue. So the blueberry, comes with a blue color, as you can see, blue, blue, very good, like the sky, the sky is come with the blue color, very good, you done a great job, blue, let's see what's the next color, the jelly, what's the color of the jelly that you can see, mmm, it looks very delicious, what is it, what's the color, it's not red, it's a Excellent, I know most of the girls are jumping there and they say pink, pink teacher, the color is pink, very good, pink, pink, can you please say pink, very good, let's move to see what's the next color, here we can see a banana, very good, a banana, and what's the color of the banana, what's the color? Very good, excellent, yellow, yellow, the color is yellow, yellow, well done. Let's see what we have now, an apple, and what's the color of that apple? What's the color? Excellent, very good, it's a green, green, the color of the apple is green, green, can you please say green color, green. Well done. Let's see. Another apple with a different color. What is it? What's the color? Wonderful. Red. Red. The color of the apple is red. It's a red apple. Red. Let's see what we have here. An orange. What's, sorry, what's the color of that orange? What? Not yellow. It's very good. Orange. The color is orange. Orange. Very good. Let's see if we have more colors. Yes. What's the color of this fruit? Can you please tell me? It's my favorite color. It's a start by p. -p. Very good. Purple. Purple. The color is purple. Very good. Let's move on. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Chocolate. And what's the color of the chocolate? What's the color? Very good. Brown. Brown. The color of the chocolate is brown. Brown. Very good. Now, can you please tell me what are the colors you learn it? Try to tell me at least five of colors.
five name of colors. Can you tell it? Tell, tell me. I want to hear you. Very good. Excellent. Red. Green. Yellow. Keep telling me, please. Purple. Pink. Very good. Blue. You did a great job. You know all of the name of the colors. I will say it for you again. So we have blue, pink, yellow, green, purple, orange, pink. And the last one, as you can see in the picture, is brown. Now, my lovely student, this time we are going to learn name of items of clothing. Let's start by the first one. Can you please look at this picture and tell me, do you know what we call it? It's a cap. Very good. So what is it? What is it? It's a cap. A cap. A cap. Can you please say a cap? A cap. Now I am going to ask you, what's the color of this cap? What's the color? Can you please tell me? What's the color of the cap? It's blue color. Very good. Blue. Blue. So we are going to say this is a blue cap. This is a blue cap. Can you please try to repeat the sentence after me? This is a blue cap. This is a blue cap. Blue cap. Let's see what's the next item we have. Here we have a nice red scarf. Very good. Scarf. So what is it? It's a scarf. What is it? It's a scarf. And what's the color of this scarf? Very good. Red. 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 So we are going to say a good sentence about this picture and say, this is a red scarf. This is a red scarf. This is a red scarf. A red scarf. Can you please repeat the sentence? This is a red scarf. This is a red scarf. Let's move on and see. Look how very nice color I, you can see it here. Do you know what we call this item? Most of the girls are wearing this. Very good. It's a, very good, skirt, skirt. What is it? It's a skirt. What is it? It's a skirt. And stop jumping. I know you are already telling me the color is purple. What's the color? It's purple. Purple. So we are going to tell a good sentence about this picture. This is a purple skirt. This is a purple skirt. Can you please repeat the sentence? This is... A purple skirt. A purple skirt. This is a purple skirt. Let's move on and look to this nice girl. What she is wearing. What she is wearing. What is it? Very good. It's a dress. Dress. She is wearing an Omani dress. Dress. A dress. And what is the color of the dress? What's the color of the dress? Pink. Excellent. Pink. Pink. So what we are going to tell about this dress? This is a pink dress. Wonderful answer. This is a pink dress. A pink dress. Repeat the sentence. This is a pink dress. Pink dress. Very, very good student. Let's move and look to this happy boy. And what 
is this? What he is wearing? What is this? Very good. This is a dishdasha. Dishdasha. This is a dishdasha. Dishdasha. And what is the color of this dishdasha? What is the color of this dishdasha? Very good. It's white. White. White dishdasha. Can you please tell me the sentence? Very good. This is a white dishdasha. As you can see in these sentences, you have to say the name of the color first, then the name of the item. Okay? This is a white dishdasha. This is a white dishdasha. White dishdasha. Repeat the sentence after me, my lovely students. This is a white dishdasha. Let's move on. And this time, we are seeing, seeing something different. What is it? What is it? What are these? There are two pieces of this. What are these? These are sandals. These are sandals. Sandals. These are sandals. And what color of these sandals? It's a mix of colors, but we can say the color of these sandals are, is white. White. You can say white, you can say brown. So the color of these sandals are white. So what's the sentence will be? These are white sandals. These are white sandals. White sandals. Let's move to see what's the next item. What are these? What are these? These are jeans. These are jeans. Very good. And what is the color? What's the color? Very good. Blue. Blue. The color is blue. So what we can say about this picture? We can say these are blue jeans. These are blue jeans. These are blue jeans. Can you please repeat the sentence? These are blue jeans. These are blue jeans. Let's move on. What are these? What are these? Very good. Shoes. These are shoes. You can see. These are shoes. These are shoes. And what's the color? Is it white? No. What's the color? Very good. Black. Black. Black shoes. Can we tell a sentence about this picture? We are going to say, these are black shoes. These are black shoes. These are black shoes. Repeat the sentence after me. These are black shoes. Very good. Let's move on. What are these? What are these? Very good. You keep saying socks, socks. Very good. Try to say a good sentence. These are socks. These are socks. These are socks. What's the color? Can you please tell me? What's the color? Very good. Green. Green. Now let's say a good sentence about this picture. We are going to say these are green socks. Very good. Again, these are green socks. Repeat the sentence. These are green socks. Very good. Let's move. Now, what are these? What are these? These are trainers. Very good. Trainers. Trainers. 
And what's the color of these trainers? What's the color? Very good, yellow, yellow. Can we tell a sentence? I will give you a chance to, to think about a good sentence on this picture. We have to start by saying, very good, these are, now you have to say the color, yellow trainers. Wonderful answer, my student. Again, these are yellow trainers. Very good. These are yellow trainers. These are yellow trainers. Now, I want you to go quickly, bring your skills book, open page number 25. Look at this picture and you have to read, match, and then write the name of this item. Let's start the first word. I will help you in reading, okay? We'll start from the top. What's the first word? Start by skirt. Very good. Skirt. Skirt. Can you please tell me where is the picture of skirt? Where is the picture? You are already matched it. Very good. That one is the skirt. Skirt. Now, I want you to write the word skirt behind, the, sorry, under the, the picture. Skirt. Skirt. Now, let's move to the next one. Here we have sock. Very good. Socks. Where is the picture of socks? Wonderful. That's the picture of socks. So you have to match and write the word socks. Socks. Very good. Let's see what's the next word, which is already matched for you. It's a trainers. 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 And as you can see, it matches it for you with the green color and also it's written for you. Let's move to the next one. Cap. Uh, very good. Cab. Cab. Where is the picture of cab? Very good. It's down there. Cap. Cap. Now I want you to write it. Cap. Let's see the next one. What we have? Sandals, very good. Sandals, sandals. Start by s sandals. Where is the picture of sandals? Where is the picture of sandals? Very good. It's down there. Sandals, and I match it with the red color. And can you please write it? While you write, try to pronounce the sounds, okay? Sandals, sandals. And the last word is for T-shirt. T-shirt. And I know you already done that. You match it already. It's in the top. T-shirt. T-shirt. Can you please write it? T-shirt. T-shirt. So what we have? We have skirt, socks, trainers, cap, sandals, and t-shirt, t-shirt. Let's move now to our class book. Again, open your class book on page number 53. And as you can see here, we have two of our friends. The first one is Sammy and the second one is Maha. Let's first to talk about Sammy. And I'm going to ask you what he is wearing. What Sammy is wearing. Wearing means what he is put in his body. What is that? What kind of dress he is wearing? What kind of dress he is wearing? So what he is wearing? Look at him. Can you please tell me what he is wearing? We will start from the top. He is wearing a cap, a cap, a cap. And the second thing, he is wearing a dishdasha, dishdasha, a dishdasha, a dishdasha. And you can tell me the color of the dishdasha. It's a white dishdasha, 
white dishdasha. And down there in his foot, what he is wearing? He is wearing a, very good, he is wearing sandals. Sandals. And the color is brown of these sandals. Sandals. So again from the top, a cap, a dishdasha, sandals. Sandals. So Sammy is wearing a blue cap, a white dishdasha, and brown sandals. Now, my lovely students, we are going to listen about what Sammy is wearing. And I want you to follow the picture. You have to put your finger on the item. So when you hear a cap, you have to put your finger on the cap. When you hear a dishdasha, you have to put your finger on the dishdasha, and so on. Let's start listening. Unit 6, listening 6.1. Sammy's wearing a dishdasha, a cap, and sandals. Sammy's wearing a dishdasher, a cap, and sandals. Now you hear it slowly. Sammy's wearing a dishdasher, a cap, a cap, and sandals. And sandals. Sammy's wearing a dishdasher, a cap, and sandals. Very good. Well done. So what Sammy is wearing? He is wearing a dishdasha, a cap, and sandals. Now let's move now to, very good, Maha. This is Maha. She is Maha. What Maha is wearing? Look at her. What she is wearing. It looks very nice color on her head and on her body. What are these, what she's wearing? I can tell you. From the top, she is wearing a scarf, a scarf. Do you know what's the color of the scarf? Very good, that is a red scarf, red scarf. And if you go a little bit down, she's wearing an Omani dress. And what is the color of that Omani dress? Green, very good, green. So, a green dress. A red scarf in the top, a green dress, and go a little bit down, and she is wearing a, very good, what is that? What are these? These are with yellow color. Very good, trousers, trousers. She is wearing a yellow, sorry, she is wearing yellow trousers, yellow trousers, trousers. And down there, she is also wearing, I think the color is blue, blue shoes, blue shoes. So let's repeat again from the top. Red scarf, red scarf, green dress, green dress, yellow trousers, yellow trousers, blue shoes, blue shoes. So what Maha is wearing, she is wearing a green dress. She is wearing a red scarf. She is wearing a yellow trousers and also she is wearing blue shoes. Now again you are going to listen what Maha is wearing, what she is wearing. You have to put your finger on the things that you hear it, okay? Let's start. Listening 6.2. Maha's wearing a dress, trousers, and a scarf, and she's wearing shoes. Maha's wearing a dress, a dress trousers, trousers, and a scarf, scarf, and she's wearing shoes. She's wearing shoes. 
Now you can hear Martha's again slowly. Martha's wearing a dress. A dress. Trousers. Trousers. And a scarf. Scarf. And she's wearing shoes. Shoes. Maha's wearing a dress, trousers and a scarf. And she's wearing shoes. Very good. So what Maha is wearing, what she is wearing, Maha is wearing a dress, trousers and scarf. And she is wearing shoes. Let's move now, my lovely students. And here I'm going to show you some flashcards. And we are repeating the name of clothes, okay? The first thing you can see here is a dishdasha. A dishdasha. Dishdasha. A dishdasha. And the color is white. A white dishdasha. The second thing here, it's upside down. A cab, a cab, an umani cab, a cab. Here we have, it's also upside down. Let me put it correctly. It seems all of the pictures. Now, okay. Sandals, sandals. These are sandals. These are brown sandals. Let's see. This is a green dress. This is a green dress. Okay. These are yellow trousers. These are yellow trousers. Let's see what we have next. This is red scarf. This is red scarf. See? These are black shoes. These are black shoes. This is a green skirt. This is a green skirt. See what we have? Okay. This is an orange sweater. Sweater. This is an orange sweater. These are a pink shoes. These are pink shoes, pink shoes. These are green socks, these are green socks. These are blue jeans, these are blue jeans. Okay, this is green and red t-shirt. This is green and red t-shirt. Okay, these are an orange socks. Orange socks. And the last one, or before the end, this is a blue cap. This is a blue cap. And the last one is, these are a white trainers. These are white trainers. Let's move to the last activities and this time we are going to learn how we can describe clothes that others are wearing. Look here. To describe what others are wearing, first of all you have to say the name of the person, then the word 
wearing, wearing. Then the name of the color, and the last thing is the name of the item of clothing. Let's, let me give you an example. Here we have an example. Look what Maha is wearing. What she is wearing? Maha is wearing a green dress and a red scarf. What Maha is wearing? Maha is wearing a green dress and a red scarf. Let me give you another example. Here we have again Maha and what Maha is wearing, what she is wearing. You can say Maha is wearing yellow trousers and blue shoes. Again, Maha is wearing, so as you can see, see, we first say the name of the person, which is Maha here, Maha, then the word wearing, so Maha is wearing, the color of the item, which is yellow, yellow, then the name of the item, which is trousers. Maha is wearing yellow trousers and blue shoes. Now another example, this time about Sammy, what Sammy is wearing, look at him. Sammy is wearing a white dish dasher, a white dish dasher and blue cap and blue cap. Another example about Sammy, you can say also, Sammy is wearing a white dish dasher and brown sandals and brown sandals. Now we are going to do a very quick activity about what your friends are wearing. Look at them. The first girl, what she is wearing? What she is wearing? She is wearing a red dress and blue shoes. Let's look to the second boy. What he is wearing? What he is wearing? He is wearing a yellow cap and a green t-shirt. And let's look to the third boy and what, what he is wearing. He is wearing blue jeans and orange shoes. Orange shoes. Very good. Well done. Now I am going to tell you what I am wearing. Look at me. I am wearing a black scarf and a black abaya. Or you can say, I am wearing black scarf and black dress. What about you? Can you please tell me what you wearing? What you are wearing? Try to say a good sentence about what do you wear and also what your friends are wearing. Practice to do that at home, okay? At the end, my lovely students, I wish that you learn something from our lesson of today. Wish you, inshallah, all the best at school and be safe. Hope to see you, inshallah, soon. Goodbye.